Why do black marriages fail in the United States? That is a question that's been on my mind, so I decided to make a video about why black marriages fail. Now, marriage might look just like this, and it might be beautiful, and it might be all peaches and cream in your mind, but the reality and the fact of it is, marriages do fail at a high rate, especially if you're a minority in the United States, particularly being black. We are gonna jump straight into percentages and facts in this video, just to give you guys a clear eye view of what's going on. Can anyone tell me what this percentage is? This percentage is the marriage rate in the United States at the current moment. And as you can see, it's 48.2, which is almost half the population being married over 15 years old. Now I want the audience to go ahead and take a look at these two percentages here. I'll give you guys a couple seconds to figure out which one is which. Yep, you guessed it, and you guessed right or you guessed wrong. 67% of white females are married over the age of 15 in the United States. But if you look at the black percentage here, only 34% of black females are married, and that deficit comes from definite instability in the black men. Now, those numbers would have you to believe that white females are happier in their marriages than black females, but uh, overall it leads back to exactly what I've said, the black male. And if you have high incar incarceration rates and you have high poverty, it's always gonna lead to a situation that is not good for keeping someone happy, whether it be the husband or the wife in any situation, whether they're white or black, mixed or he Hispanic. It's just not a good situation to be in when those rates are low because you have to have happiness. Some people like material things. Some people like knowledge. Some people just want to get ahead in life. And if you don't have those things to uh, carry you forward, you're not going to succeed. What I'm trying to get across here is uh, the main point is stability. Stability creates opportunity. Let me be clear when I say opportunity. It gives you the opportunity to, to have growth in your relationship with that person, to get to know them better, to love them. Not everyone gets married for the right reasons, so you can't say they necessarily know each other, are married for the goal of love, which is supposed to be the point of marriage. Some people do it for financial gain. Some people do it for an opportunity in life to come ahead. All right, everybody, let's uh, turn our attention back to some facts here about the poverty rate in the United States. As you can see from this chart, the white poverty rate as of 2018 for whites is 9%. As you can look, it's 22 for black, it's 19% for Hispanic, and it's 11% for Hawaiian and Island Pacificers. Now, you might be wondering, how does the poverty rate tie in to why black marriages fail? Well, bear with me. We are going to name every state where the black poverty rate is above 20%. This list goes from the highest poverty rate, starting with Iowa, all the way down to the lowest 20%. So let's start off. We got Iowa, Wisconsin, Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Puerto Rico, Kentucky, Ohio, Kansas, Minnesota, Alabama, Michigan, District of Columbia, Tennessee, West Virginia, Indiana, New Mexico, South Carolina, Missouri, Pennsylvania, Maine, Illinois, United States, North Carolina, Nebraska, Florida, Nevada, Utah, New York, Texas, California, and last but not least, Washington. The other states' poverty levels are below 20%, so we're not gonna mention those, but I will say this, that the black populations in those states are very low as well. Now, what we can gather from this information is that poverty is never something you wanna be around. It creates high crime rates in neighborhoods. It's an unsafe environment that you probably or anybody else wants to raise their kids in. This directly ties into 
why black marriages are failing. Now, I'm not saying this is the only reason, but it's an overlooked fact. And uh, if you look, I tried to get information on the marriage rates in each state, but that information was hard to come by. But I will tell you this, if you look and you find out, anybody leave a comment down there, I guarantee you that the high poverty states have a high rate of failed marriage as pertaining to the African-American population. Now, all of this information we've received on this is not to bash the black race, but better yet educate for improvement so we can move forward and make progress. So black marriage is failing is a stereotype in my eyes because if the poverty rates were the same across all races, I guarantee you the marriage rates would correlate or maybe even be lower. So you can't say that without pulling up facts or knowledge about something. The only negative impact in my eyes is probably the black man on the black woman in their relationship. But that's up to each black man and himself to know who he is and decide what he wants when he wants to marry. And uh, all those factors lead to black men not committing. Now, we're not going to put all the blame on black men because black women have their own issues. And uh, when you marry someone, you have to be a wife. You have to be a wife. And that's what that means is social media can tell you one thing. But in reality, you have to, to do your duties as a wife. And he will do his duties as a husband. And that's why you guys marry each other. Marriage is a lifelong commitment for the husband and the wife. So both sides should definitely take into consideration. Do you want to spend the rest of your life? It's not a fad. It's not something that's going in and out. This is your life partner. And this goes for all races at the same time. But anyway, that's a whole nother topic and conversation. I want you guys to go ahead, hit that notification and like the video and subscribe. It would really help out this channel. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, we're going to get into some more content. Till next time.